Hi, so I'm going to talk to you very briefly about um, a project that I'm involved with that in part is uh, supporting research into OCR, optical character recognition for uh, Indian books. The project uh, is Two Centuries of Indian Print and it's making available freely online um, printed books from the British Library's South Asian collection. So far we've digitized a thousand Bengali books, uh, most of which are available online and we're in the middle of digitizing Assamese and Saleti books. These are our sponsors. So in order to make these books as usable as possible for digital humanities practitioners, we'll need OCR that uh, fully represents accurately the text on the original document to support uh, full text searching, but also to enable computational research around text mining of the collection. However, there are certain obstacles uh, specific to Indian scripts, as well as more general OCR issues which we uh, will need to overcome, and we're aiming to overcome. So for a start, there are 22 official Indian languages, uh, 13 different scripts. Um, most commercial OCR software doesn't support um, OCR of Indian scripts. And most of the open source software that's available, such as Tesseract, doesn't perform as well as it does with English and Latin scripts. Um, then there is a difficulty of actually identifying and separating characters or glyphs within the Indian scripts. So often they're connected uh, by a top line called the matra. Uh, we also have the additional challenge of the historical nature of the material. So some of the words and language has evolved over time. It's problematic for OCR systems that um, are trained on modern dictionaries. And uh, also, this particular body of material uh, involves uh, a lot of publishers who adopted a variety of uh, type typographical um, setting formats. So that, again, is challenging for OCR that systems expecting a kind of uniformity of print. And as well as that, there are physical uh, digitized um, issues that apply to the collection around faint print and blurred scans. So, to try to overcome all of that, we launched a competition last year which uh, surveyed the landscape of optical character recognition for Bangla texts and reviewed state-of-the-art uh, solutions. <coughs> we transcribed a number of the texts from the collection as ground truth, gave this to the competition entrants who trained their OCR systems, we fed them more images, and then the results were analysed by the Prima Research Lab, the University of Salford who discovered that Google performed best, no surprises there, uh, with 75% character accuracy of Bangla. And we're now continuing to work with Google to try to improve these results and expand on the breadth of material that we give them. So in addition to the competition, we are also interested in collaborating with Indian institutions and institutions elsewhere around this problem. Um, last year we held a workshop at Jadapur University in India which introduced the librarians in attendance to uh, as an introduction of uh, challenges for OCR of Bangla print. They also uh, were able to experiment with some open source um, tools as well. So we'd like to do more of that and collaborate where we can. And if you are interested in collaboration then please do get in touch. Thanks. You mentioned, you mentioned the threshold of 90% accuracy on the word level. Is that in order to be purposeful for digital humanities? Is that, is that a figure that you're sort of That's a, that's a target that I've, I've kind of discovered through a lot of research online um, as recommendations for um, OCR targets that I, you should really hit in terms of, I mean, anything much lower than that, then yeah. through full text searching, likely not to be able to retrieve back uh, pages from your search that might be relevant. So it's not exactly a target that we've set concretely at the British Library as OCR has to meet in order to be able, able to be ingested into our own systems for mm. full text searching. However, it's kind of a, it's probably also a very ambitious target for Bangla considering that Google was the best and performed substantially lower than that. So uh, if we can continue to provide a lot of ground truth training um, transcriptions to companies such as Google, then hopefully that will improve uh, the results. And I think partly why OCR has um, catered towards, well, it caters towards uh, Latin scripts um, and performs well with them, mainly because it's received a lot of attention and a lot of training materials. Yeah. 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 Ye
is, is Google the same as Tesseract or is, uh, yeah Tesseract was uh, its owned by Google yeah um, however in that particular competition <coughs> Google were using um, invoking their cloud vision tool okay. in the competition we also evaluated several versions of Tesseract and we did notice and Abby didn't uh, sort of answer um, so no we weren't reviewing Abby we it doesn't support Bangla. Okay. Um, we were running a separate competition around English language complex layouts um, and nobody entered that. So. <laughs> <laughs> However, I just will add as well, we had something like 25 institutions worldwide sign up to the competition but only three followed through with submitting results and I think that was very telling of how difficult the challenge is. Yeah. And then there's a research group at the University of Heidelberg doing uh, OCR in Indian languages. I don't know which ones, but so maybe you can yeah. add up on the summary if you're not really connected. We've been in contact with them and uh, we're due to have a call soon. And I think they've been focusing a lot on Hindi, which is probably where we'll be moving next with our project if we receive further funding. So. Thanks. One quick question. There was um, yesterday or. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, for yesterday, um, Facebook released a, a nice paper about um, identifying memes and how they do it on a large scale, and it had to do a lot with OCR. Um, it might be so interesting because the libraries they use were like PyTorch and uh, TensorFlow, and well, it's, it's kind of a, a new approach to this problem. Yeah, oh, that's, I, that's news to me, so yeah. I'd like to talk to you about that afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>